Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a half case break of 2018 Panini Select Football. This is random team break number five. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember we comboed up a couple teams, Bengals, Titans, Jaguars, Raiders. Let's roll the dice and randomize each list. Five and a five. Ten the hard way. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, Mike Tower down to Amelia. Five and a five. Ten times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Good luck. After ten times, we've got the Atlanta Falcons. <coughs> Excuse me. Down to the Detroit Lions. All right, and here's how your teams shake out. Mike Tower with the Falcons, Kevin with the Cardinals, Steve Freeze with the Chargers, Jack with the Dolphins, Ray with the Ravens, Jack with the Panthers, Brett with the Jaguars, Raiders combo spot, Mark Maston with the Bills, Braden with the Niners, Ron Hollins with the Packers, Josh Bruce with the Chiefs, Brett Novak with the Texans, Michael Gallucci with the Redskins, Moody with the Steelers, Kara with the Rams, Michael Kuntz with the Seahawks, Jess, you got the Jets, Mark with the Minnesota Vikings, Ron Hollins with the Pats, Michael Gallucci with the Buccaneers, Carl with the Boys, Jacob with the Broncos, Gabe, you got the Eagles, John with the Giants, Last Spot Mojo, Bengals and Titans for Robert Rohr, Braden with the Bears, Jacob Lewis with the Saints, Mark Masson with the Colts, Kara with the Browns, nice, and Amelia, Lions, nice. Let's alphabetize by team, sort by column B. And while you are considering trades, let's see which half we're going to do right here. All right, we've got Six on that side right there, and then six on this side. We'll roll the die. I'm going to roll that one. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three. One, two, three. So we're going to do that side right here. This side will mark. We'll mark random team six, and we'll work on that. We might, We can squeeze that in tonight. So that'll be for break six. All right, there we go. Save those for next time. We've got uh, Bears and Niners up for trade. Bengals-Titans combo up for trade. Vikings and Colts up for trade. Michael Rinder, if you buy the Panthers, we're still we still have to send it to Jack. But Jack will send it on to you if you end up getting that transaction done. Niners for Vikings, maybe? Deal, says Mark. We've got a trade. There you go. San Francisco for Minnesota confirmed. Braden, you are now a Viking. Mark, you are now a Niner. We'll put a little T next to there so we know if you're keeping track at home. If you're keeping score at home, we'll be able to see who got, well, who draws first blood in the trade, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Any other trades? Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. TWC. Right? 
It does make for it does make for a good video, Garrett. Garrett's like, I love me some trade drama. Yeah, and now we can be like, oh, who's gonna draw first blood? Who won the trade? Who's gonna regret it for the rest of their days? Who's not? Who's gonna be happy? Who's gonna be sad? We'll both be happy. Who knows? Both both could go hitless. I have no idea. This is why we play the game. I've seen it go the, go the wrong way so many times that I'd be too scared to trade. But other people are a lot more brave than I am. All right, there's the official printout. Good luck to Braden. Good luck to Mark. Good luck to Robert. Last spot, Mojo. Good luck to everybody who got into this. Thank you so much. Second half of the case in the store already. So if you want to run that back, we definitely can. We still have time tonight. There's the schedule in the chat, just so you know when your break is coming up. Has anything else sold out? I think that that full case pick your team was pretty close to selling out. And all the big teams were already gone. What's our what's our situation there? Now we still have two teams left in that full case pick your team break, ladies and gentlemen. Broncos and Vikings are in there. Broncos and Vikings, so let's get it on the docket. You want me to head out tonight so we can go to the snow? I don't I don't have clothes for that, Joe P. And I don't think we can get refunds on our uh, on our plane tickets either. <laughs> All right, box number one. I don't need clothes for Arizona snow? Probably not. I've been to the Grand Canyon in the winter. They're, they get snow there. That there, It's pretty cold then. All right, box one. So we'll just breeze through these. And nice start. Look at that. Three-color patch. No auto, but a nice tie-dye for Mark Matheson and the uh, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Sixteen out of twenty-five on that tie-dye. Love it. There's Andrew Luck die cut and an XRC card. That's first quarterback. Who's going to be the first quarterback taken in the draft, you guys? All right, so there it is. All XRC cards to the name on top. I'll randomize everybody's names. Different dice roll, and the second name will get any and all points, if any. So, yeah, this, so this Haskins kid, who, who, I know nothing about this Haskins kid. What's, what's his deal? What's he all about? Now, one of my favorite mock draft sites Right outside of all the mainstream guys is WalterFootball.com. Now I don't know what his background is, but he's been doing this for for ages. He's got some pretty good good info here. There's Dan Hampton, old school Dan Hampton for the Bears for Braden, Braden and the Bears. Now WalterFootball.com has Dwayne Haskins from Ohio State going to the New York Football Giants, third overall. So that could be Mr. Haskins right there. We got Peyton Barber, Jersey and Auto, 60, uh, excuse me, 67 out of 75. The voice isn't working. <laughs> it's been a long week, folks. Michael Gallucci with the Buccaneers. There's Chase Edmonds. To 175, we'll learn about Dwayne Haskins in a moment. There's Jared Goff, tricolor, to 190. Our shipping team will sleeve and top all of those before they go out. We got Demarius Thomas for the Texans to a 49.
Jerry Rice. 41 out of 199 for the Niners. And that's box one in the books. And Pick Your Team 8 has sold out. Confirmed. It is sold out. There we go. We can add that to the schedule. All right, so if you look in the chat, and I'll update the spreadsheet after this break, but if you look in the chat, you can see our current schedule right now. So after that select football full case break is over, that'll bring us to about the last hour of the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. So in that time, we can fill... What else can we do here? We can do... We will have time for the second half of select football, if you want to rally around that. We got time for one revolution basketball break. We got time for a tribute break, tribute baseball break. We got time for another two leaf jersey breaks, multi auto, multi sport autograph jersey breaks. If you want to get that going, squeeze that in to the schedule while time lasts. We're already running out of time. We're already down to the last hour of the broadcast. All right, so according to WalterFootball.com, he's thinking that well, he's thinking that the, that the Giants may even trade that spot, trade out of that spot. They can go. Uh, they can go elsewhere. So Dwayne Haskins, tremendous skill set, but not a finished product at the moment. However, with Justin Herbert going back to school, he's the time. Blah blah blah. Uh, um, that'll be interesting. Three NFL general managers believe that Daniel Jones. Will be the first quarterback selected. We'll see if Dwayne Haskins go up there. Sony Michelle, two color patch and autograph, seven out of forty nine. I have a feeling they may. Nice Sony Michelle, by the way. That goes to the Patriots. That'll be for Ron Hollins who has the Pats. I have a feeling that they'll get someone like a Dwayne Haskins, right? And then have him sit behind Eli Manning for a year or two. I feel like Manning can 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 eke out another year, another season or two. There's Denzel Ward, nice tie dye to 25 for the Browns. That'll be for Kara. Worked all right for Patrick Mahomes. There's Justin Jackson. 19 out of 75. That will be for Steve Freeze, who got randomized the bolts. There's Russell Wilson to 199. There's Blue Jordan Wilkins to 175 for the Colts. There's Tannehill and there's Aaron Rodgers. 12 out of 75 for the Go Pack Go. That goes to Ron Hollins with the Packers. Nice. There you go, Ron. And we've got 7 out of 99. Big relic for Big Hayden Hurst. That goes to Raymond and the Purple Birds. All right, 
next box. WalterFootball.com has uh, the Arizona Cardinals taking Nick Bosa number one overall if they don't trade out of that spot. I wonder if the Cardinals really would, I guess they really would trade out of that number one spot. Or would they trade it to, I don't know, we'll see. I heard speculation that they may trade Josh Rosen to the Giants, right, at that three spot. So then they can take both Nick Bosa and Kyler Murray. Because Niners aren't taking a quarterback at two. That could actually, that actually might be kind of feasible. When's the last time that, uh, when's a, uh, now speaking of Josh Rosen, Kevin Crouch needs a Josh Rosen. the last time something like, something like that has happened? A quarterback drafted in the first round, then traded the very next season? It can't have, that can't happen too often. There's Deion Cain out of 49. There's Dante Pettis for the Niners to 75. And there's Ronald Jones the second out of 99. See, that's the thing. Ordinarily, Mike Malvers, I, I would say that wouldn't happen. But with Cliff Kingsbury big on Kyler Murray, it actually could happen. There's Ezekiel Elliott gold. Four out of ten. That card is gold. Going to the boys, Carl with the Cowboys. There's Benjamin Scar Brennan Scarlet, not Benjamin Scarlet, Brennan Scarlet to the Texans of one ninety nine. We've got 48 out of 49, Jersey and Auto, Nick Chubb. That is a nice Chubb for Kara. Tyreek Hill, die cut. Eighty-two out of ninety-nine for the Chiefs. That'll be for Josh Pruce. And there's our super short print. These generally fall one per case. Golden Tate for the Eagles. Zebra going to Gabe. There you go, Gabe. Nice. That parallel looks really sharp. And there's Mark Schlereth for the Broncos. Old Bronco going to Jacob Lewis. There you go, Jacob. Thirty-eight out of seventy-five. We see him on TV. All right, three boxes in the books. All right, and the next three boxes. Going back to WalterFootball.com and their mock draft. For my Raiders, at number four, they're thinking uh, defensive end linebacker from Kentucky, Josh Allen. Why well, here is is pretty good. So, uh, they're suggesting that the Raiders likely won't be able to obtain Josh Allen if there are 
if there aren't any trades made in the top three, but someone is likely to move up for a quarterback. So if Allen is available, he'd definitely go a long way in aiding Olkins' awful pass rush, which is true. Absolutely true. Josh Allen, dynamic edge rusher, can play basically anywhere you want him to on defense. Terrific player. And primary reason why the why Kentucky was in contention for the SEC East title so late in the season. He's been compared to as a hybrid of Leonard Floyd and Zach Cunningham. Wow. As he can play in coverage and also rush the quarterback effectively from the edge. I'm okay with that. I can handle that. Redskins pick right after the Raiders. Redskins have got to go QB, right? Daniel Jones of Duke? For the Redskins, maybe? All right, here's the next box. That draft is going to be right around the corner. And we've got tie-dye Jalen Samuels. Two-color patch and autograph. Love the tie-dye parallels. That goes to Moody. There you go, Moods. Moody and the Steelers. Eight out of 25. Mini Meager thinks the Raiders should pick Nick Bosa. I don't think I don't know if he's going to last to the fourth pick, though. And that's the problem. I'd like that to happen, but out of 199, Judge Ito Smith for the Falcons. But it's unlikely that he falls to four, unless something crazy happens. There's Quincy Inunua, gold, two color patch, nice gold look there for the Jets. 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 Jess with the Jets. Five out of ten. Nice. These gold ones look sharp. Mark Andrews to 99. Tremaine Edmonds to 175 for the Bills. And we've got Fred Warner. 45 out of 199. Uh, that's Mark Matson, who actually got first blood in that trade. 58 out of 99, Brian Dawkins. Let's see if there'll be something for Braden and the Vikings to even out that trade. There's Darius Leonard. What a great season for him. 23 out of 49. Two boxes to go. Where do you think Kyler Murray's going to go? So this, again, once again, WalterFootball.com is thinking that Drew Locke of Missouri will go to the Broncos at 10. And he has, Walter has Kyler Murray at number 13 with the Dolphins. Murray to the Jaguars? Where do the, where do the Jaguars pick? Oh, Jaguars at seven. I have a feeling the Jaguars are going to maybe trade for a quarterback. Maybe a Nick Foles, perhaps, something like that. I feel like they might want to go that route. I feel like starting with a, a rookie quarterback is almost like starting over. And they, they I mean, two years ago, they were, they were pretty close to, I mean, they went very deep in the playoffs. So if that defense can can uh, can look as good as they have, they get a little more offensive production for the veteran quarterback instead of waiting around for a young quarterback to try to see if you can gamble on that. If I were the Jags, I'll go. I'll, I'll go. I'll try to chase like a Nick Foles type player. There's Kiko Alonso tie dye. Nice, 19 out of 25. Speaking of the Dolphins, that'll go to Jack McDermott. 
with the fins. Where do I think uh, Le'Veon Bell is going to go? Le'Veon Bell. Don't know where he's going to go. D did I read somewhere that Le'Veon Bell maybe, maybe packed on some LBSs <laughs> while he's not been playing? Zach Ertz for the Eagles. That he may be maybe at Eddie Lacy level. Maybe following the following the Eddie Lacy diet. Tremaine Edmonds to ninety nine. We all know what happened to Eddie Lacy. And we have Dorsey Levins. Nice Dorsey Levins for the Packers. Ron Hollins with the Go Pack Go. One seventy out of one ninety nine. Nice Dorsey Levins. Exactly, Axe Carmichael. Cheeseburger Eddie Lacy. A little too many cheeseburgers. There's Judge Ito Smith. Fifty one out of one ninety nine. Jersey and autograph for the Dirty Birds. Mike Tower with the ATL. Will Comstock said that he read that he's reportedly around 250 to 260. I feel like that's not fighting weight for Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> that's definitely not fighting weight for Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> There's Alvin Kamara to 75. And there's Calvin Ridley, 25 out of 199. All right, there's Camara die cut for the Saints. That'll go to Jacob Lewis, 63 out of 75 on that one. Nice. Lights, Camara action. And the last box in this half case. Random team break, number five, select football. All right, good luck, everyone. Looks like Le'Veon Bell. I guess all sorts of things happening here. Le'Veon Bell is expanding like the universe. Apparently he's expanding. Apparently he sent out some cryptic tweet that he may want to try to join the Eagles. Would like to would like to sign with the Eagles. He's a free agent, so he can go anywhere, right? Whoever pays him. Um, apparently Damian Lillard is recruiting Le'Veon Bell to join the Raiders. All right, interesting. Raiders could definitely use him. I think they they have the cap space. I would I would like honestly I would be fine with like with getting Le'Veon Bell, trading for Antonio Brown, and then in the draft they just draft like those unsexy position unsexy but but vital positions like you know like defensive line offensive line that kind of stuff with all their with all their picks. I'd be fine with that. They'd be, they'd be pretty com competitive pretty quickly there. Out of 175, Drew Brees. And quarterback three in the draft. That's very interesting. You got quarterback one and quarterback three. That's going to be a good randomizer. Out of 199, Anthony Miller. Right, Jonathan Best is like, yeah, well, who, who, who couldn't use him? I guess it depends on how much you want to pay how much he's asking for, you know, so out of 99 TJ Watt, I don't know if the, if the expansion of, if the expansion of Le'Veon Bell is true, one may be concerned about his motivation. There's Julio Jones, gold, two color patch, another nice one for the ATL. Eight out of 10. 
And how much of a headache are those two guys, Le'Veon Bell and, and Antonio Brown? Bit of a headache. They didn't exit Pittsburgh very professionally, I would say. Uh, Will Comstock saying, back in January, read that Bell was interested in the Colts. Someone else mentioned that too. Colts. Colts could use both. Can you imagine Andrew Luck throwing to Antonio Brown? T.Y. Hilton on the other side? You know, Le'Veon Bell running around back there, along with Marlon Mack, Neam Hines, and those guys. It'd be crazy. And there's Christian Kirk. 167 out of 199 for Kevin Crouch and the Redbirds, the Cardinals. All right, and that's it, folks. That's the break. Half case, pick, uh, random team, five. Got a randomizer here, two of these XRC cards, and the second name on the randomizer will get the 400 points. Let's go back to the list. Let's get all your names. Get them to a blank list here. And the top two will get something after 10 times. Five and a five, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, the two names on top, Ron Hollins, you have 400 points coming your way, and it's Carl with the two XRC QB cards coming your way. And there you have it, folks. Uh, another great break of select football in the books. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.